Hello. Today I have a new project. The project is quite simple, but it seems to me that it will be a little interesting to watch for those who are just immersing themselves in motion graphics with a blender. As usual, the whole scene is done in two hours and then it takes quite a long time to prepare for the release of the project, because you need to transfer everything to After Effects and all these zeros, cameras and prepare controllers in the project, there is a main element, this is a line, let's show from the first camera. This is all done with geometric nodes, and it is quite simple, that is, initially there is some kind of curve. Next, I set fillets for this curve to have curves and create a grid. Here I indicated 300 points, but in fact I needed a little more. On some pieces you can see what is not quite smooth. Perhaps there were 600, but let it be 300. Next, I deform this grid at the expense of the curved deformer node, which is included in the package of my nodes and set the animation through the frame range, that is, the animation is set from 0 to 50 frames, that is, it was possible to specify keyframes here, but it is more convenient for me to have such a moment that in sum. Cases such deformation may occur, that is, not quite correctly, and therefore you need to tighten it a little to make it more correct here and, accordingly, the frame range also has a built-in map range, it sets these parameters, then you need to capture the UV coordinates through capture and pass them further so that you can. Use in materials here there is a separation, that is, one is where we have an animated texture and on top is already the geometry of the glass, here it is all simple, through solidify the thickness is created and through to solidify the thickness of the glass is already set, that is, one is just extrusion like a regular extrude, and the second is already exactly. The thickness of the glass, that is, the difference between the extrude would be the salt defiler, that it repeats the modifier and here I implemented a uniform thickening, which is usually quite difficult to do through the extrude. And I use two materials and that's it, that is, then this setup is simply multiplied by other curves, that is, a new curve is set and everything adjusts itself. There is an important point that in some cases the curve can be rotated like this, and then in this case you need to read the tilde curve, set it in the curve deformer and manually rotate all the points here just by 90 degrees, then everything will be displayed correctly. Next, I made a regular cube, so it gave it a bevel and through geometric nodes I also made it an internal thickness, because I also use glass and through the grid cloner I just multiplied it, but in this case I made a modifier out of it so that you can change the settings here without changing the setup. and just multiplied as I needed. That is, I could take the same copy, change the settings as I needed and that is, the main setup remained unchanged.
there is nothing interesting from the setup, so let's move on. That is, there are usually two options for working with geonodes when you create everything inside one geonode, if the scene allows. And the second option is when you create a modifier and already use it. In this case, I use both. The next ones were ordinary cubes that I placed manually when they are required, and now I will show them in some chamber. This is an ordinary cube of geonodes, as you can see, there are no and just modifiers, modifiers. And that's it, now let's go through the materials, then I'll show the render settings, there is also something interesting to tell, I recently learned. The material, the lines themselves are quite simple, that is, we have a UV coordinate, we passed it to SUA and therefore it all works in texture coordinates. The lines themselves are created by, I hope, not in the camera. Due to the black texture width. A little random, that is, they can be. Are multiplied to set some, but high speed, that is, there are speed, there are slow lines, let's say, and here, after but before time, it is just a hashtag, frame, as usual, animation is set, that is, already procedural. and so on. Price 4i Find their used model in model, I wanted to show something. Since it is quite difficult to use light sources so as not to make links. Because if you put a light source somewhere, then it will definitely be refracted in glass, there will be reflections and so on. But the model needs to be highlighted additionally, so through Fresnel you just set the highlight, as if and of the interesting things here there is its own frame range, for some reason I don't have such a ready-made node, but also through the frame range it turns out I set the intensity of the glow, that is, it works from 30 frames to 80 and therefore sets from zero. Up to 15 could be put with keys, but more often in most cases it is more convenient for me, then I will definitely add the node to the general list of the model, so it is highlighted so additionally, but here you can control the ramp, it is all additionally controlled, there is still a moment, in fact, there is still a kind of fog, it's just a principal volume and I. I use two lights that have rendering disabled for everything except the volume scatter so they don't affect the geometry, that is, they don't reflect anywhere, but add a little volume as for the render settings that I wanted to tell, I recently learned how to use these settings more or less correctly, that is, I set the maximum number of samples. Three eighty four, minimum four, and threshold zero point zero two. I used to put zero here, and let's say some wild threshold zero point zero five. In fact, he always applied the maximum number of samples to the whole scene. 
This is kind of not optimal, that is, it turns out to be more correct to put 0.10.200 and then the minimum maximum samples they work correctly. Lately, I've started rendering like this and I've become about 20 to 30% faster, this is probably more and more, there's nothing like that in the scene, but there is also the last element, it's just a cube that is converted into a curve and the thickness is set again, that is, it was possible to make a modifier in the iframe. But I did it. I made it 10 pieces without displacement and just scattered it through the random.psr node as I needed. And it was like this somewhere else. The dust is like this, the dots are small. It's the same here. This is originally such a cube. Then everything goes in geometry, that is, this element is combined into a linear Clowner peak instance, I remind you that it's just instant points or duplicate, I don't remember. and everything is supplied to the exit. It turns out to be such a small element. That's it, the project is ready. I hope that the next projects will be more difficult, not like this. And I will also show how they are made from the inside.